Grand Traverse Band for the past couple of years, our tribal population has drastically increased with the majority of our population being age 55 and older. We have had to change the focus of our services to address the unmet needs of our elder population. There has been an increased need for elder caregivers, guardianship, conservators, and adult protective service workers. In the past year, there has been at least six to seven cases of elder abuse adjudicated in court within our six county service area. The primary issues that seem to arise are financial exploitation, neglect, and being taken advantage of as an elder. In our community, we are still learning what elder abuse is and how to identify the characteristics of abuse. The biggest fear for many of our elders is to be removed from their homes and placed in an adult assisted living center. So many cases involve family members and are therefore not reported. This story portrays a grandmother who was in the early stages of elder abuse from a family member through the eyes of her 10 year old grandson. Grandma, I'm home and I'm hungry. Grandma, where did all the food go we bought yesterday? Oh, hi, grandson. I don't understand. Where did all the food go we bought yesterday? Well, your mom got up and she said her friend needed some food for her three kids. So I just gave it to her. But... Don't worry. We'll be all right. I get my check next month. and We have enough food to get by in the cupboard. So, um, what time do you have to be at camp tomorrow? I don't know. Let me go check on the computer. Nine o'clock. Okay. Well, we'll leave about 8.30. Your mom's bringing the car back tonight, so uh, we'll leave about that time. She took your car, too? Well, she ran out of gas, so I let her use my car. Grandson, will you look in my purse and get my wallet and look for the $100 in there? Sure. Grandma, you only have $10. Are you sure? Yeah. Elder abuse? I guess I'm just getting old. I can't seem to remember things. But I'm sure I put Junya on my wallet yesterday. Well, I guess we have to just wait until next month to pay for the hot water heater. It's getting late. Finish your homework. And I'll fix us a little dinner. You have an exciting day tomorrow. So, and you need to get to bed early. Here you go, grandson. This looks wonderful, Grandma. Be quetch. Grandma, what time is it? It's 8.30. Grandma, what 
What time is it? It's 8.45. Grandma, what time is it? It's 9 o'clock. Oh man, I hate when she always does this. Ah! It's good to see you. Mm -hmm. Okay, is everything okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. All right, good. Well, today, I was asked to talk about the seven grandfathers teachings that was given to the Anishinaabe people. And those were originally given to a little boy about your age, a long, long time ago. Because the people needed to be healthy in this world. And they weren't finding that health. They were having a hard time. And so the Creator watched over them. And He decided that He'd give them seven gifts. Seven gifts to help make their lives healthy. And these are the seven gifts that He was given. But one of the things that we need today is manadendumwin. Manadendumwin means respect. And respect doesn't just go to the people that we like. Respect goes to all the people in our community. It goes to all our relatives. And so that's kind of an important one, I think. But the one I want to talk about today is honesty. Now you see that word truth, and you see that word honesty. In the English language, those things are pretty close. But in Anishinaabe, when that gift, it sounds very close, but they're really different. Debwewin and Gwekwadziwin, they're different things. Now truth, what we had talked about, is that when you're out and you see something that's uh, important, and you see what it means, you have to express that in a good way. And when people ask you certain things, you try to tell them the truth as you know it. You don't try to lie to them at any time. You try to always be truthful, and that's a good thing. That always makes things above board. Sometimes truth can be difficult to tell people, but it's important that we are known for being truthful. Honesty is a little bit different thing. Honesty means that we live our life in an honest way, that we do it in a respectful way, that we have respect for other people, and that's important. We're honest with ourselves on how we live, and that creates a really important thing in our life to follow that path of life. And if we are honest with people, then we won't say certain things and do the opposite. We'll do what we think is the honest thing to do and we'll be honest with all our relatives, and we'll treat them with respect, and we'll do that in order to know that we'll always do the same thing. We'll always uh, do what we say. We'll live an honest life. And what that helps you do is to keep in balance. And why that is important is because the Creator gave us a red road to, to walk. Uh, Mikanance, it's called. It means a little tiny road. And that's important because that red road is so small that we need to keep in balance. And as we go through life, if we get sick, akuzi, if we get sick sometimes and we have a, a health problem of some sort, then we don't stay on that road. We don't live an honest life. And sometimes we lose our balance on that. And so those things are kind of important for us in order to stay healthy. That is a guideline that allows us to know what's important as we go down that path of life, from the eastern door to the western door. Bidasage, do you have any questions? I help my grandma. What happens when others don't? Oh, when others don't, huh? Hmm, that's a good question. Well, you got to start out with uh, that first one, Saab win. What does that mean? That means love, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you love your grandma, don't you? Mm-hmm. I know that she loves you, too. And so that's kind of important. That unconditional love between the two of you is really important. and merely makes a strong tie between the two of you. you know, but the other thing is, you know, everybody should respect your grandma. Not only you, but all your family should respect your grandma. Because that's the teaching that was given to us. And that makes us stronger. And a lot of times, a lot of things in people's lives, you know, they're suffering with trauma or self-esteem issues. And 
things don't go quite right. But if you understand that, you know, and you know that you love your grandma, then the two of you are going to be okay. And so that's kind of important, you know. And the Creator gave you Nabakwangwen, wisdom about how to deal with those types of things. Sometimes it's hard to influence adults' lives, but, you know, it's important for you to be truthful. And when anybody asks you about your grandma, you want to take care of her and you don't think that she's being taken care of well. And so when you do that, you'll be doing the best that you can as a young man like you are. And then you'll have bravery in your heart to be able to do that because you have such concern over your grandma. Because you love her. You have that unconditional love for her. Mm -hmm. And you do that, that's all you can do. You know, that, those are important things. And grandma can take care of herself too because I've seen her around. She can do that, so don't worry too much about her, okay? Okay, me go watch. All right, good. Bonjour, Badowski and Indonesia, because I listened to an elder talk today, and he talked about respecting all life. So I am sorry I hit you this morning. He talked about respecting my mom, dad, and grandparents. I will love my grandma. I will be kind to my grandma. I will take care of my grandma. May watch for my elders. In our indigenous language, an elder woman, Mindamuya, is a woman who has gained knowledge and experience throughout her lifetime. An elder man, a Kwewezins, is a man who has walked on this earth a long time and gain knowledge. These are the reasons why we respect our elders, not just because they are old, but because of their accumulated wisdom and life experiences. The young grandson is on his journey to learning that elder abuse is not traditional, and another name for his grandma is Mindamuya. The seven grandfather teachings give him the foundation for how we should treat his elders in all of life. Regarding elder abuse, remember, respect is being kind to and caring for our elders. Truth is recognizing the different characteristics of abuse. Honesty is providing a safe environment for our elders to live in. Bravery is reporting the abuse and seeking help when one needs assistance for themselves or their elder. Wisdom is sharing educational awareness and knowledge regarding elder abuse. Humility is being in balance with yourself and treating others kindly. Love is caring for our elders and our community. As the elder explained in our creation story, the seven grandfather teachings were a gift given to a ten-year-old boy teaching him how to live in Minobamatiziwin. Today, it is our hope that everyone who listens to the story will be guided by the grandson's prayer. I will love my grandma. I will be kind to my grandma. I will take care of my grandma. May go watch for my elders. Oh, yeah.